Hi, I'm Matt Kessner. Back in April of uh, this year, I was diagnosed with uh, obstructive sleep apnea. Um, the cure for sleep apnea was to, uh, one, either have surgery or number two, wear what they call a uh, CPAP mask at night. CPAP stands for continuous positive airway pressure. Basically what that does is that air actually forces to keep your uh, breathing capabilities open during the night. So it stops the snoring and allows you to get a full night's sleep. However, uh, wearing a mask has a certain uh, non-positive attributes, shall we say. Uh, the mask itself uh, fits over your face and uh, does a very good job, except for the fact that the outside of the mask is really a gel liner. So the problem becomes is the seal between the face and the, the, the mask. Now what happens during the course of the evening as you perspire, moisture, etc., the mask starts slipping. And when the mask slips, you start getting air leaks, which are, uh, shall we say, create some obnoxious noises, wake you up, and really exacerbates the problem. So to solve this issue, um, I decided that, that that was not going to work. I didn't want to have surgery, so I had to find a solution to be able to wear the CPAP mask without the air leaks. So after months of, of, of trial and, and, and error, I finally developed a cloth liner that actually serves as the interface between your, my face or the user's face and the actual CPAP mask. Now the benefit of the liner is, is number one. First of all, it helps create a seal on the, the mask. It's a comfortable seal because it is a cotton fabric, so it absorbs the moisture, so it minimizes the slippage, and it also minimizes the amount of air leaks that actually occur. So that the user mounts this on here, mounts the mask on their face as such, and enjoys a much more comfortable night's sleep, not woken up anywhere near as much as they would without a liner. The, one of the other key factors in the liner was to develop one that was economical. Uh, after months of research, I finally found a fabric, which is a medium weight knitted cotton fabric, that has a no nice soft side on one side uh, that actually fulfilled the bill. But the other issue is from, for people like myself who toss and turn during the night, still sometimes that movement will create slippage. So as another alternative, I started looking at different various agents or what I could do to make that stop slipping 100%. After months of investigation and testing, I finally came up with a tacking agent, which is applied to the non the less soft side of the liner and actually fits down on top of the, the mask this way. That really basically eliminates the movement of that cloth liner. Now the other beauty of it was is actually my ability to, to have a, a fabric and a tacking agent that is washable because to get something that's reusable, our average liner gets used an average of seven nights before it necessitates cleaning. Our test by testers some of the testers have got it up to 14 nights. So this liner can actually be wandered, placed it, and allowed to dry naturally flat like that on a, on a given table, and can be reused and reused again until you deem it no longer necessary. Uh, so I said I established the company, and as of uh, September after the Labor Day of this year, uh, I put up a website for quietestliners.com, uh, whereby we sell these liners, we package them in a package, of 10 liners, which is a 30-day supply for $20.95. So that means that the average utilization cost for a liner is really 30 cents a night, because you can use these liners. If you use them seven nights like we do, your average cost is 30 cents per night. And a 30-day th supply turns into a two and a half month supply of liners for $20.95. So I believe we found a very economical solution. And we have liners that fit all of the full face, full face mask, and we'll do special custom liners on demand.